In this video, I'll show you how to perform conditional object validation using the excellent Joy library for Node. And this can be used in your Nest or Node or Express applications to validate requests that come into your API. Now, conditional validation can be described as changing the rules for one property based on the value of another. And Joy makes this really, really simple, and I'll show you how. Welcome along, my name is Chris Roberts and this is Roberts Dev Talk. I've created a Node project using Nest and this example uses TypeScript. However, the same technique will work in JavaScript too and with other frameworks like Next or just Express on its own. Here is a simple model that represents a contact in an address book application. There are four properties, the contact name, preferred contact method, email and telephone. I've already created a Joy schema to validate contact objects with some basic rules. The name should be a string and is required. The preferred contact method is also a string required and can be either only one of email or telephone. I've restricted the email field to valid emails only using the dot email rule and telephone must be a string. What we want to do is change the validation rules on email and telephone according to the value of the preferred contact method. So if preferred method is telephone, we want just the telephone field to be required and email to be optional and vice versa. If preferred method is email, we want to set our email field as required and leave telephone as optional. To achieve this, we can use one of Joy's extension methods called when. This takes a subset of rules to apply when a certain condition is met. To selectively apply rules to the email field, we'll call dot when on the end of the email rule chain. The first parameter is the name of the field we're looking at. So in this case, preferred method. The second parameter is an object containing the rules to apply. So we create an object. We want to apply the required rule when the value of the preferred method is email. So we add a property is, the value of which is email. Now we add a second property then, and the value of that property is our rule. So we'll add joy.required to add the required rule. So what we've done here is quite intuitive. We've told joy that when the value of preferred method is email, then we apply the required rule to the email field. It's worth noting here that the then property can take any set of joy rules, not just required. So we could start to build up some complex validation rules using this method. For our telephone field, we just need to do pretty much the same thing. We'll add dot when our preferred method field is telephone, then we'll add the required rule. So that's it. I've hooked up this rule to an API endpoint in Nest so we can try our rule using Postman. So we have a request body with a name, Chris. I've left preferred method blank. If we send this, we'll see we've failed validation and been told that preferred method must be one of email or telephone. So I'll set preferred method to email and send the request. Now, Joy has applied the required rule to email, and because we've not specified email in the request body, we failed validation. Now, if we change the preferred method to telephone and resend the request, we'll see the email required rule has been removed and Joy has added the required rule to telephone. So that's how you perform conditional object validation using Joy for Node. There's a link to the full documentation and GitHub page for Joy down below. Question of the day, do you like these short two minute or three minute tip videos? Do you find them useful? The idea behind them is that they're short, they're searchable, and they give you exactly the answer you need without having to watch a full tutorial. Let us know in the comments down below if you like them, if it's been useful to you, and we'll make more if so. Thank you very much for watching. Drop a like if you've liked it. Subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next video. Coding tutorials, tips, and dev gossip, and all things related to programming.